You probably know that quote from a John Lee where he says to bow down to your mouth every day. Well, you should bow down to your mind every day, too. Take good care of it. Look after it. Don't let the defilements come in and take over. You want to be in charge. And John Cha's image is of a house in which there's only one chair. You're sitting in the chair. And the other people who come into the house, they're guests, they want to get in the chair too. And if you give the, them the chair, then they are the ones who can order you around. You have to make sure you stay right here, firmly established right here. As for whatever else comes up, and about how enticing maybe you're not going to get up out of the chair because you don't want to sacrifice your position of control. All too often let the th thoughts take over and they order us around. They order us to do some pretty d embarrassing things, but they don't have any sense of embarrassment at all. So you've got to make sure you stay right here. So make the breath comfortable and remind yourself of the importance of stillness of mind. When the Buddha talks about having respect for the path, he says it twice. And at one point he says, respect for the triple training, which is virtue, concentration, and discernment. And then respect for concentration. Why does he repeat the word concentration there? Probably because he wants to emphasize how important it is, because it's something we tend to look over. It's just the mind when it's very quiet. The sense of ease it has is nothing thrilling. I mean, it can be thrilling in some cases when you get a sense of rapture, but a lot of times it's just simply very quiet, very still, very nice. But it doesn't have bells and whistles. And people want bells and whistles, and so they go running and looking for other things. They go bow, bowing down to the entertainment industry, they go bowing down to the internet. And they forget to bow down to their desire for true happiness. Because what does the media have to say? The media say true happiness is not really possible, but content yourself with what you've got to sell you. And you're selling yourself short if you do that. You're showing more respect for them than you do for yourself. So switch it around. Show respect for yourself. Bow down to your mind every day. Remind yourself that your desire for true happiness is something worthy of honor, worthy of respect. And always keep that in mind. This is one of the reasons why we practice mindfulness, not just to be aware of things, but also to have a sense of our priorities, of what's important. So we always place what's important number one, from one breath to the next to the next. And that way the opportunity to find a genuine happiness stays open.